Dear friends, we are in the 33rd Sunday of the liturgical year and it is towards the end of the liturgical calendar and the readings of today carry a similar tone of end of things. There is a bit of struggle and fear associated with every end of things. For a student, the end is the examination and there is a fear and for a runner in the race the end is a finish line and there is always a struggle there and for us who are alive the end is our death and what comes to our mind an uncertainty fear or joy if the end is uncertain, of course, the feeling of fear is well justified. So it is for a student at the exam or a runner at the race. But if the end is certain, then the finish should be a joyous one. So for a believer, if the present is good and virtuous, the future is a joyous passing into. The call is then not to worry of the future but to look at the present to make my today really spiritual and blessed. The first reading of today is from the book of Daniel. It gives us a message of comfort and hope, talking to the Jews. The background is against the second century BC when the Jews were under the rule of a Greek king who tried to impose on them pagan practices. It was for them a time of oppression and suffering. It is then that Daniel is raised up to announce to the people of God that his consoling care and love. Daniel tells them that Yahweh is powerful and that he will intervene and do not worry. Our God will not stand merely looking at our misery. No, he will intervene and also raise up people who can come to our aid. The second reading is from the letter to the Hebrews. It speaks about the eternal sacrifice of Christ once and for all offered at the Calvary, which is the power and has the effect to take away all our sins. Jesus as a mediator continues this mission of interceding and praying for us before the Father. There is a mention of the incompleteness of the old form of sacrifice and the fullness of it in the new sacrifice of Christ. The new sacrifice that gives the fullness of Christ self-giving at Calvary is what is intended. And its commemoration is a daily Eucharist of this very event that we celebrate at every Holy Mass. To the measure we believe in the power of the Holy Eucharist, it will affect our life and our living. To the measure we celebrate it worthily, it will transform our daily living. To the measure we live this Eucharist in our daily life, by breaking and sharing ourselves, it will transform our daily living. The call then is to become this real sacrifice, to break and share. The Gospel of today is from St. Mark from the 13th chapter. This is Mark's apocryphal proclamations. They contain the sayings of Jesus based on the writings from the book of Deuteronomy and prophets Joel, Daniel and Isaiah. These are eschatological writings meaning they speak of the last things. Looking deeper, we see as Mark is writing the first of the Gospels against a background of the Roman persecutions and it is then that many believers and Christians doubted their faith and belief in this Jesus, the Savior, and they waited in hope for Christ's second coming. Mark is thus putting Jesus' teaching of the end days and the sufferings and persecutions that await every believer, the destruction of the temple of Jerusalem and the glorious coming of the Son of Man, 
that is what the reading tell us about what are our conclusions from the gospel of today and other readings in short the living out of one's faith in fullness means walking the path of persecution and suffering there will be rejection and opposition the call is to stand tall and endure it looking only at the crucified one for inspiration and moving on the destruction of the temple for the jews the temple was more a symbol of pride than prayer the temple often became a place for everything else than for its own true purpose of being a house of god if i as a person who is also god's own dwelling place his holy temple do not make my heart one of worship it will be on the way to destruction without my god i am on my way to an eternal death the final victory is always god's in the words of saint paul our life's aim is the crown of victory we run the race and finish it well so that the master will give us that prize of eternity in heaven for us believers there is no end of things or life or time to us who hope in the lord the end is ever joyful and in fact it's a call to a new beginning with him in eternity may we live out today faithfully that we become worthy of an eternal tomorrow in god's kingdom god bless you glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen